Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy and welcome to the tutorial of how to set up a roundabout for Fulios. Now you can also see like that this is my map called uh, Delta Disasters, which I am conveniently using for it. And I have set up like four roundabouts here to give an idea what it is, you know, how to set up a roundabout properly and what kind of roundabout you need to use in which fashion. Now, let me take you to the first one. This is the type of roundabout you would expect in a area with low density, uh, you know, properties like, you know, low density commercials, low density residentials. This is a <coughs> cough. <coughs> this is a simple roundabout, which is just two lanes. Yeah. Then we are going to the roads, which are containing like four lanes and which are also containing more uh, highly density stuff. You know, you have like four lanes, so two incoming lanes. Then it's always a wise choice to choose a roundabout that has like three lanes. Yeah. If the road is getting a little bit bigger like this, but still there's four lanes. Yeah. It's also wise to use a three lane roundabout, but make it a little bit bigger, like that. Yeah, like that, okay. And a last thing is if you're using the six lane road that is coming together like this, 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 and this, then you use a highway roundabout because they, those can, you know, can take more traffic regarding speed and so on. Okay. Now, the question is, how do you set these things up? Well, for, for all these roundabouts, it's basically, basically sort of the same. Let's, let's take this one, for example. Yeah? Now, first of all, what do you see first? You know, if you look at the zoning part, it's like, yes, you keep some distance from the roundabout. Why? Because you don't want any trucks or any other vehicles to stop in front of your roundabout and keeping all the traffic you know behind them to pile up you don't want that no you don't want that now the roundabout always has to have priority no all the traffic on it now when you are using the roundabout roundabout builder like i did and you click on traffic manager and you click on uh, priority signs, then you see that the roundabout builder already has given them. Yeah, okay, so that's a good thing. Okay, but you're not there yet. We need also to apply junction restrictions. Yeah. Junction restrictions, you click on every junction separately like this. Now you see here that it has given this option that is the traffic that is on the roundabout to drive through this junction, whatever happens, even if a nuclear warhead goes off, just drive on. This one is saying like, no, you have to stop. Even if there is nothing there, well, if there is something, if there is nothing there, they can drive on. But if something is here on the roundabout, then these guys have to stop. Now, this is also done by the roundabout builder but only with uh, roads that are going uh, on and off i noticed that with roads that are just coming in or coming out only that this sometimes will mess up so but also what i do but this i mean this is just personally i also choose this option this option is like pick your lane for both of them you know if these guys Drive. If these guys are driving on the third, the, the second or the first lane, even if they are here, they can still pick whatever lane they want here. So that makes them easier to choose where to go further on to that way. Yeah. So we apply this to every node. Pick your lane. Pick your lane. Pick your lane. Okay. Are we there yet? Nope, we are not. Look at this roundabout. You can barely see it. Let's remove this. Yeah. You see that? The, these lanes. 
an arrow for straight on, an arrow for straight on and to the right, and an arrow for right. This is not something you want. Why? Because you want the traffic to go on over the roundabout as fast as possible. So you want two lanes to go on and just one to go off. And because this guy has the opportunity to take whatever lane he wants, he can just go to there, to there, or to there. So you click on lane arrows, yeah, lane arrows. You hold the control button. Oh, sorry. You hold the control button. You see that it lights up now this node and you click it. And you see that this lane has been turned. You can also click this uh, whole section itself and then this window appears and you can do it also manually. But you know, why do it manually if you can do it automatically? Yes, yeah, so we do it also here. So you click lane arrows, control, click. This one now changes. We do it here. This one changes. And this one changes. Right, so now that we have two lanes for traffic that can go around nice and fast. So are we there yet? No, we are not there yet because this is a highway that is used as a roundabout. Now if you click on speeds, in this case, what do you notice? 100 kilometers per hour on the roundabout. So traffic will be going like, you know, like an annoying fly that is buzzing around your head, which you cannot get rid of. So these guys who are coming from this side are coming here and they see the whole swarm of flies buzzing around here and they cannot get onto it. So what you do, you select the 50 km per hour mark and you slow down the speed on the round a bout. Yeah? That also makes these guys easier to get on it. Now, my, my personal experience is like, also, if you approach the roundabout, let's say just two sections in advance, you slow down to 40 from all sides. Let's say from here to here, and from here to here, 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 and also here. And they may leave with 60. The, eff the effect is they drive 50 on the roundabout. They can leave while driving 60, but they only can enter while driving 40. So the balance that occurs is like that people are getting faster off the roundabout than they are getting on. Now that's the way how I would set up a roundabout in this fashion, except for the lane connectors. Usually what I do is like before people get to the roundabout, I take the, the note before it and I say like no more lane switching before going to the roundabout. Usually I pick like two notes. So I have two notes here. I only have one here, nothing here. I also have one here. And do I have one here? Well, that yeah, it does not work. So that's the general idea that you select two notes and put like no lane switching. The thing is, cars that are coming in, they are not going to be, you know, making stupid lane changes over here because this option, you know, this option already allows them to pick the lane wherever they want to go. Now, in this situation, you have like the perfect roundabout. Huh? Okay, now let's get to this one. This is like for more like mm, pretty neighbor, yeah, pretty busy neighborhoods. But basically, you are just doing the same over here. Yeah. So you check the junction restrictions. Correction, junction restrictions, not you. And you give them the option to check pick lanes. Sorry, pick lanes. Pick lanes. Then you click the lane arrows. And you say like designated, dedicated, designated or dedicated, designated or dedicated, designated or dedicated turning lanes. 
I don't know the English, what is the English proper term for this, designated or dedicated? I would say designated because it is a designation and a dedication is something that you are, I don't know, you know, dedicated to, I don't know, uh, I don't know your faith or your, yeah, your religion or whatever. Now the speed on this roundabout, this is not a highway roundabout, it also has like pedestrian crossings. So it's your choice whether you want for example to create crossings. If you have like busy traf uh, busy pedestrians uh, walking around here, you can always make like a crossing over here. And using the junction restrictions you can turn this off. You see, you can turn it off. Now regarding speed on this roundabout, they are also like 60 and you want to slow them also down to 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 and 50 and here the same as before make this one 40 40 40 40 40 and 40 and the other one leaving the roundabout 60 yeah, 60. So they will leave the roundabout faster and off they are. So then this roundabout is then also set up properly straight because you also have the priority signs already there because you have used the roundabout builder to create this roundabout. So this roundabout is also set up. Now we go to the, you know, little, um, yeah, bigger less lesser terrain maybe a suburb or something like that and yeah basically it's the same you use junction restrictions to give them uh, the lane choice like okay pick your lane where you want to go like this 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 and this you check lane arrows you press control 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 also the speed you set it to 50 50 come on 50 50 you take 40 for oncoming Oncoming, 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 and 60 for going away, like that, like that, uh, and like that. And also here you can select the lane connectors here. Well, I can only select it here to say like, okay, no lane switching. Can I do it here? No, there's no load. Here I wanted to do it also, but there are no, you know, there are no nodes. There's a node. Is a node here? No. Yeah. Here's a node. No lane switching in front of the roundabout. So that that is a general rule, uh, you know, that I keep for myself is like two nodes in front of the roundabout. No lane switching. Yeah. Okay. Now the last one. This is this would be a very simple roundabout. You can apply in a low density area. You know, with just small houses and small businesses, like a commercial shop here and there. And here, here you can basically also apply the same thing. You can say pick your lane, 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 pick your lane. Uh, lane arrows. You can see. One straight on, one straight on and right. We don't want that. We want one for straight on and one from right. Here also, also, also. Now comes the fun part, because you would expect now the speed to be changed, but it's not necessary because this type of road is 40 only and it is fast enough. That works out great enough. You also don't have to change lane lanes over here because this is just a two-way road, so there is not, not not any lane changing uh, involved and that is basically it so and uh, this is the way how you set up like your roundabouts yeah now for example this is just you know uh, an example that i want to pull out now let's assume that you have a lot of traffic that wants to go from here and go just go straight on then they will all go like like this and this then you can create like so-called bypasses. And these bypasses you can create using the off-ramps, these ones. Yeah? So we, you take the off-ramp from here, you take it there, you put it like on 10 units, you put it also like 10 meters into the air, like that. Then you move it all the way to the other side. Oh, wait a second, turn anarchy on to the other side. Uh, how far to go from here and then yeah 10 units down you see now we do here the same again 
if it if it allows me it does not allow me because this road is not long enough let me make it a little bit longer please so a little bit extra road also here like that thank you here we do the same 10 units up use the guidelines you see the guidelines you go to the other side uh, also follow the guideline you see there and here you go down now to make also the the lane uh, mathematics work you make this road into a four lane road which is like uh, one of these so you select this 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 and this now see what happens you have like three lanes here one goes off two goes on now you select traffic manager you select the lane connector and you say here shift s you also select junction restrictions and you say like you go on you go on and you go on you also select the priority settings and you select like you can all drive on for if there are like um, traffic lights if you use this option then you automatically remove the traffic lights yeah now you check the lane connectors and you see that there is still a, a note here tap it and say like don't lane switch right because that choice can be made on the roundabout here we do the same we take the lane connector oh, lane connector shift s junction restrictions drive on drive on drive on priority signs everybody can oh, drive on and here we go now to make the outer uh, side more interesting we increase the speed so we say like 120 hold the shift button to apply it to the entire section and here as well so you see now that if many traffic much traffic many traffic much traffic whatever wants to go straight on it will probably take this off-ramp this on-ramp this bypass or whatever you want to call it and they will just scoop over this area and you can make this in any kind of form of shape whatever you like you can also apply it from the other side and then go underground you can even do that yeah so and that's basically uh, yeah that's basically it uh, my tutor tutorial about roundabouts uh, especially made for uh, for, fo <laughs> for foodios <laughs> yeah who do not know uh, how to apply traffic manager to roundabouts and how to make them yeah proper now the nicest thing also about roundabout is <clears throat> now let's assume now let's assume this mm, that this road okay this road here Let's connect this road to there and let's remove this roundabout yeah because this is also an interesting feature that you can apply to roundabouts yeah now let's say that uh, now connect also this to there there is traffic coming from this side you know from this side and they want to take the left turn from here to left and we all hate that we don't want that because he can go just straight on to the roundabout make a 360 pop, 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 go back and make the right turn in that case you click on the traffic manager you click on the lane arrows and you say here no left turns and you can here click on this option like that and oh wait a second i'm doing it wrong this option just like that now normal wise you would already have probably have uh, applied the um, uh, dedicated lane turns but even after that you can still select this option and say like you go on no left turn and this only to the right so in this case you prevent that these guys are turning to the left and they will go straight on to the roundabout turn around and come back here because left turning traffic is always causing a mess it's always it's always causing a mess i mean that's a fact and if you have several of these tiny roundabouts in the area then it's an option for you to say like yeah okay uh, 
I don't want these guys to turn to the left. You can also, also apply it from this side. That these guys have to go straight on, take the roundabout, go back, <coughs> that, <coughs> that area. So, well, I hope that this little tutorial was uh, oh, uh, practical for you. And uh, if you have any questions regarding roundabouts, feel free to ask me. I, uh, you know, I know more uh, about these things. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And until next time, see you guys. Bye bye.